All right, what's going on, fellas? I'm down here in Kima, Texas today, my old neighborhood, my old stomping grounds, and uh, we're gonna do some flounder fishing, man. We're gonna fish for some summer flounder. We're about midsummer right here in Texas, and I came to this spot last year around the same time, and I did really well. Um, what I do is I look through my camera roll, and I look at the dates on the pictures, and I try to follow that pattern and uh, typically that works out pretty well for me, man. But anyways, I'm gonna be doing a real review and a rod review on this new setup that I got. Uh, it's a 22 uh, Shimano Aldebaran BFS on a Trident Laguna custom rod. And uh, I've been meaning to do a review with this setup, man. And I just hadn't, I, honestly, I hadn't put that many fish on it yet. I mean, I've caught a few, but uh, we're gonna see if we can put it to action today. Anyways, let me get on these bad boys and I'll catch up with y'all in a little bit later. All right, fellas. So this area that I'm working right here, it's a lot of rocks. As you can see, all these rocks around me and uh, a lot of structure. These flounder like sitting in these rocks and uh, ambush and bait. And out here, that's the Kima channel right there. Uh, so it's real deep man and they'll come up off that channel and get up here on these rocks and feed on bait but uh, I'm gonna throw this little savage gear shrimp and see if I can get on something man as soon as I get a nice little thump I'll get back to y'all alright fellas I just had a hit I just seen them actually come up and hit it and I'm setting the hook now <laughs> little dink but that's all right, I just got here, man. He actually came all the way to the top and hit it, man. That's awesome. right up there in the swamp. Yeah. I saw him chasing that bait. Yeah, he tried to swallow that big shrimp. Man, that's crazy tiny. You know, my bait's almost bigger than him. But yeah, they're out here. Just gotta find some bigger ones. I'm about to set the hook on him now. They're in here. They're just not the size I need. But let's see if they get a little bit bigger. Go. Oh. All right, guys. So I hadn't really had any luck on the flounder. Well, besides small ones, but as far as this reel goes, as you can see, well, I don't know if y'all can see that far, but this thing bombs, man. Uh, it definitely is smooth as butter. And, uh, the sensitivity on it is awesome. I had a chance the other day to feel the backbone on it when I hooked into a nice red, but he ended up breaking me off, man. He wrapped up on some stuff. But so far, so good, man. I mean, hell, I can't complain, dude. I've, I've, I've had a, a few Laguna rods and uh, they're solid. Uh, one of the best out there, in my opinion. Um, as far as this reel, I mean, I'm a big Shimano fan, but I'm not die hard. I fish other stuff. I fish, uh, Daiwas. I fish 13 Fishing. I fish, uh, Abu Garcia's. Uh, I mean, name it. I'm, I, I fish, you know, several different reels. But, uh, yeah, man, overall, damn good setup super light um i mean the craftsmanship on it is flawless but uh yeah super super light super smooth i'm gonna love using this thing out while i'm wave fishing uh but yeah so far so good man i'm gonna be here a few more minutes hopefully i can put something on this damn thing i'll catch up with y'all in a minute round two fellas yesterday was all dinks Today I'm gonna try to come back and get some big ones. 
All right, guys, I'm on one. Right against the rocks. Whoa. All right. She almost got away. Damn it. Let me see if she's gonna make it. I don't know, that's kinda close. That's kinda close. I ain't got my keys with me. I got a measuring tape on my keys. Let me see. Nah, she's just shy. That's all right. There's got to be a bigger one in here. Let's get the release on this girl. Yeah. See if we can't get another one. All right, fellas, I'm on one. gonna make it though. No. Nope. She's shy. Or he's shy I should say. These are all little males man. Savage gear shrimp work real good, man. Well, those are they all that hadn't tried them out. They work real good. Got a real good strong wire hook. They got this little weed guard too. Anyways, get the release on this bad boy. There she goes, right back down to the bottom. little ones today fella all right fellas so normally there's some uh natural size flounder in that area but it is what it is man i mean at least i got on the sun uh, i think total what about 10 flounder uh nothing to bring home i mean some of them were right on the money but uh, I, I don't want to take that chance, man. I'd rather just, you know, have them be a little bit over before I take something home. But anyways, I'm going to go over what I was throwing and what I was using. All right, fellas. So this is the combo I was using. This is a 2022 Shimano Aldebaran BFS um, on a Laguna Trident custom rod. This is a 6.5 uh, light action rod. Um... It's a new setup for me, man. Uh, so far, I don't have any complaints on it, man. I mean, craftsmanship on it's excellent. Uh, the reel is super smooth. The rod is super sensitive. Uh, it's got a good backbone on it. Uh, Laguna makes a great rod, man. I, I can't complain at all. Uh, as far as what I was throwing majority of the time today, uh, I was throwing this. 
uh, 3D Savage Gear shrimp. Uh, I don't know if you can see there, but it's got like a little weed guard. I usually use this one when I'm fishing a lot of structure. Uh, this is a color new penny and uh, it's got a built-in rattle. I doubt you'll be able to hear that, but, and it's weighted. So this one here is the weedless version. Uh, it comes like this in a single pack. And then they also have a double pack. This one doesn't have the weed guard on it, but it still has the built-in rattle. And uh, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little rattle chamber there. And then this one's weighted a little different on this version. Uh, to me, this one seems like it sinks a little faster, even though they both say they're uh, one fourth of an ounce. But uh, anyways, I have real good luck with those. And then this is also my go-to here, man. This uh, pearl, pearl white and chartreuse tail uh, mantis shrimp. But um, majority of the time today, I was throwing this one. And uh, it produced real well for me, man. These things are durable too, man. Uh, the only flaw I don't like about these gulp is that, I mean, they they work great, but they, you know, two fish in and you're, you're already tail off and, you know, torn up. So this thing is, is bulletproof, man. I've been throwing this one. Battery died on me there. Anyway, like I was saying, man, I've been throwing this one for a while now and uh, it still looks as good as it did when I pulled it out the box, man. Uh, yeah, so that's the rundown of what I was using, fellas. Hopefully, y'all liked the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell, man. That way you can get a notification every time I post a new video. But uh, I hope y'all liked it, man. Y'all take it easy. Tight lines.